Matt from SamRolling.com, wanted to do a video of basically why AAFs are still better than OMFs, even though OMFs were originally kind of, I guess, built uh, straight into the Avid uh, kind of world, uh, and then when it was working with Pro Tools and stuff. Um, and it's all kind of about metadata today, really. So essentially we have these two clips here with uh, kind of an arbitrary uh, file on the top, uh, video file. And so we've got three TO1, and we've got... 3TO2, yeah? 3 take one 3 take 2 You'd never usually put them like this, but just for demos. So I exported them. I've done videos on that, so you can uh, watch those separately if you need to figure that out. Um, and so once we bring them in, this is what the OMF gives me straight off the bat. And this is what the AAF gives me straight off the bat. Now, um, if I was to do nothing, then I would obviously have to defer that basically OMFs are more useful because I can get the original um, kind of metadata file name uh, without kind of too much trouble. Um, and then obviously the AAF, how do I know what anything's called? Is there any other data going on there uh, that the OMF doesn't have? Um, and essentially, uh, your new friend here is going to be view, clip, and now what we're able to do is dig into more of the original metadata. So original timestamps, uh, you can get that for everything, but note that these are exactly the same files, essentially. Uh, we've got the 3TO1, 3TO2 just doubled up, uh, but the OMF has given us the original as from the session in Premiere Pro, and uh, the AAF has given us the original original um, in terms of where it starts and stops within the file itself as well, which is also uh, really useful uh, for kind of nailing down stuff. Then we have channel names. So in my recorder, you can actually name uh, the input um, with whatever you want. So in this case, boom. So now already off the bat as well, I can see which uh, person this was. If I named it from a radio mic, I can see if it was a boom. I can see if it was a second boom. I mean, again, the options in terms of metadata uh, are pretty limitless. Um, scene and take. So look, now all of a sudden, uh, I've got the same exact information as uh, 3TO1, which is my file naming anyway, um, and it's just split it into scene and then take. Uh, and so now that gets over the problem of just having this weird, obscure uh, file name on the top. Um, then we have rating overlap, don't really need that, um, and we can change this to either current time or any other time, or we can just obviously turn it off. Uh, but it's more for digging, digging around in the background um, and having no time, for instance. Um, so then if we take off, I don't think we can take off name, but, but yeah, we can, yeah, we could take off name. And then essentially what we get is what type of, what type it is in terms of, is it a radio mic, that kind of thing. Uh, we get the, um, original source information and then we can now easily, uh, find out other, other takes, this, that, and the other. So just with a little bit of work uh, in the uh, setting up with the view and then clip options, uh, we can now see that we can actually mine actually more of that original uh, metadata uh, through the AAF file as opposed to an OMF file. Um, so this is going to be incredibly useful for us. And that means that no one's having to send us anything um, like lists of uh, when things were originally taken. I mean, like sound reports, that kind of stuff. Um, like because often uh, in quite a lot of projects that I do, if no, if they don't know who the recordist was or like I don't know and getting in touch with them and file reports and blah, blah, blah. There's other ways around it, but this is a super simple way to do this within Pro Tools um, and just get the most out of your metadata. And then you can get on making better decisions knowing actually which and what files are. Uh, incredibly useful. So hopefully that helped. Uh, I'll throw up another couple of recommended videos. And of course, you can always subscribe and comment below.